I'm here in the Olympus booth with Andy Bausk, who's going to show us something special about the EPL-1 and its new underwater case. One great thing we have available for the EPL-1 is an underwater solution that's amazing. We have a great new underwater housing, which I'm going to show you right now. This is our PT EP01 housing for the new EPL1 camera. What's really, really nice about this housing is its rotary buckle design. Makes it very easy to get in and out of the housing and place your camera inside the housing. Also, because it is a rotary buckle and not the metal clips found on some other housings, it's very, very easy to maintain. So all I do is place the housing in, close the buckle until it locks, and the housing is completely protected to 131 feet. Another great feature about this housing are the dual fiber optic ports. You can plug up to two strobes into this housing very easily. And we actually have two strobes, the UFL2s, that work on the same RC feature as all of our DSLR and pen cameras. And what that enables me to do is call up a window on the back of the camera, and I am able to control those flash settings using these camera controls. There is no need to reach up to the flash at all. Great, great feature when you're underwater. Other really nice thing about the housing is, as you can see, I can use the optional electronic viewfinder or I can compose the picture with my live view LCD screen. Either or. So depending on what kind of diving conditions you encounter, you have the option of using either screen. As you can see, the housing has a lens port. This is a non-removable lens port, but what's really nice about the design of this lens port, it will accommodate several of the Micro Four Thirds lenses. Uh, one thing that will, will, you know, that is really nice for the underwater photographer is it is going to accommodate our new 9 to 18 millimeter lens that's going to be released this summer. That's great. What, what is the price on that? Sean, the price of this housing is going to be $599.99 retail and availability is expected late March.